My name's Luke Poltenhoyd and I'm 19 years old. Aston Villa is special to me because it's like a family. Um, you know, it's part of my life. I go, I go there nearly every week. You know, and without failure, um, every time I go there, it, it brings out emotions that I don't normally show in a day-to-day -day basis. Really, it's just it only comes out when I'm there at the game. Um, I feel like Aston Villa as well it brings people together. That's that's with every football team really. It brings everyone together, and I just feel like when people come together for one game or a few games, it's it's special really. And I just love the feeling of everyone behind a 11-man team. You know, it's just special to me. When I was younger, I, I was I wasn't a Villa fan. I was a Chelsea fan. That's when I was younger, but that's when I first started liking football. But because my dad's a Villa fan, uh, he started taking me to games when I was about seven, eight, and um, it was only until about five years ago where we actually got relegated from the Premier League, where I just felt my love for the club just. Grown. We had it all the way in, and Aston Villa have the lead. Connor Harrihan, what a wonderful left boot it is! It was beautifully struck. I don't know, just the fans, everything, it's just special. I just love it. I just can't, it's really hard to explain, really. It's, I love it. Football's helped me actually to get out of the house more really, it's, it's actually built my confidence. If you told me four years ago, maybe actually three years ago, that I'd be going to away games on my own with my friends, you know, going to place like Brighton on a, a weekday on my own, I'd, I'd laugh at you, you know what I mean? Like, I just did, in like three years ago, I did not have that confidence to do anything, I didn't want to leave the house. But now that I've got football in my life, it gets me out of the house every weekend. It, it keeps it keeps me going really. Um, even if we lose, win, you know, it makes me happy or sad. I'll go there every weekend to support my club. Um, but yeah, I'd say football's brought in my confidence a lot. It's kept me going active. It's, it's kept me going active really. It's just it's, it gets me going. And knowing that football is. At the end of the week, it's, it, it gets me through the week. So like, I know that I've got a game coming up. It's like, okay, just get through the week. You, you know, Villa's up this week. So yeah. Me knowing that I've got something to go to and look forward to. That means me actually getting off my arse and going out the house and travelling, you know what I mean? Um, I've been to seven away games this year so far, which isn't many compared to other people, but it means me leaving the house, getting up at early times and actually doing something, you know what I mean? Instead of lying in bed and staying in the house, you know what I mean? So like, yeah, he has kept me motivated really, he keeps me motivated to get through a week knowing that I've got the football either on a Saturday or a Sunday, it gets me through that week, it keeps me motivated. I feel like everyone needs something to focus on or, some, or to do, whether that's, for me personally it's football, but some people might not like football, so if you have a hobby for, let's say, painting, do painting, you know, if you, if you love painting, do it. Everyone, in their own way, suffers with a bit of mental health, really. Um, and not many people talk about it. Some people just have a fear of talking about it, really. 
Um, and I feel like it's important you do something about it. Like, like even if it's not talking about it, you might be, you might you might not want to speak to someone about it. But like, try and do something to help yourself, even if we lose. It makes me feel. Shit. Uh, it just makes me. I don't know. It's got me through the week really, and it makes me look forward to the next one and the next one. And I feel like people should talk about mental health more. But if you don't, just try and distract yourself from it and do something that you love to help make you feel better. My name's Luke Poulton and I'm an Aston Villa fan. 